the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. <laughs> got a little in your voice over there, huh? You got something for me today. I do, Jonas. I want to talk about um, one Herschel Beam, the fourth. Herschel Beam, the fourth? That sounds like a football player. Yes, we're talking about, uh, his, the, you might know him better by a stage name of Dr. Disrespect. Oh, Oh, we talked about him. We did. So wasn't um, he like, wasn't he like in a minor's DMs? Yes, he was. Okay. Uh, so there was some allegations that arose that he was in uh, the Twitch whispers having. That's so creepy that they call the DMs whispers on Twitch. By the yeah, way, I mean, anyway. I guess it's like private. It's like private messages. But yeah, essentially the DMs. I just I picture him being like, hey. Yeah, it, anyways. he was having conversations with his with uh, his community, and one of the individuals ended up being a uh, a girl who was a minor, and there were some uh, some messages exchanged that were deemed inappropriate, um, not only by my standing but by Twitch standing because they suspended him and eventually he was terminated from Twitch and he no longer from his can, part, part Twitch partner yeah, or whatever from Twitch partnerships but he himself has said is that he is uh engaged in inappropriate communication with this person uh via his Twitter response that we had discussed on a prior episode mm mm-hmm. mhm um, so it has been about 4 years since this and I guess the case is finally up and nothing was ever done but he has recently made a return to YouTube. A 180. After he's made a return. And he wanted to speak his piece. So he's no longer on YouTube. He's on Twitch. He's now he's, on, he's back to YouTube. He's been on YouTube ever since then. But he's recently taken a break after the allegations were kind of leaked a little bit more. Gotcha. After okay. like the press feeding print. So like, so like if something bad comes video. out about you, normally you kind of like go into hiding for a little while. Especially when so. it's something like that. Yeah, yeah. You want the world to cool off a little bit. And believe me, it seems as though the world has cooled off. Now we're going to play a little excerpt from the stream. Not a whole bunch because I don't want to give this guy too much play time because, I mean, I think you're going to see why when I play it. Um, let me pause this and... Okay, yeah, here we go. The same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same okay. people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Okay. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Okay. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch oh, makes this decision wait, wait, to terminate wait, 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 my contract. Wait, wait, wait. Pause it for a second. Hold on. Pause it for one second. I'm going to play that one part over again. Yeah, yeah. Let's listen to what he had to say one more time. Where he, where Not he's dying. perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Oh. Okay, so well, he <laughs> he's dancing. Uh, well, I don't know if this man understands what age of consent, how that works. If if the age of consent if if is under eighteen wherever that is which is I, it's wild I don't understand why that's a thing you still can't be like a forty year old dude talking to like a sixteen year old girl yes it still has to be within so many years like if you're like nineteen and they're sixteen yes age of consent is like valid so what he's <laughs> dancing around here um is exactly that and it's like because the age of consent from state to state is different. Some states it's 18, some states it's 15, 16. some states it's 16. Yeah. Okay. Oops. I want to give some context here is that this is a 42-year-old man in a wig and sunglasses and a fake mustache dancing around consent. That mustache looks real, though, but anyways. It, just, it does look real. That looks like a real mustache. I'm looking at Jonas with disapproval. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Either way. Anyway. He's, there, he's, look at this. I mean, seriously. And he's up here dancing around the words consent. Brother, you're 42. 
if you are talking to a 16 year old and the age of consent in her state and your state is four, are 16, well, even if the age of consent is 14, it's still like, bro, you're 40, bro. Like, what are you talking to a 16 year old girl for? He admits in his own words to having an inappropriate messages with a minor. All right. Inappropriate can be, hey, I can't wait to touch your butt. Any inappropriate could also be, hey, you know, we can't really talk about that kind of stuff on on Twitch Whispers, but I'd love to meet you at TwitchCon. And then maybe we could, you know, the right, flirtation right, right, right. could have come from her and he could have reciprocated in a way that was not becoming of a 42 year old. You know, fucking the only man. appropriate communication between those two could have been her reaching out, saying, I love your channel him going. Thank you. I appreciate you as a fan. End of conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Like. <laughs> So just just as a uh, kind of uh, to describe what happens on the rest of the stream, um, I watched the entirety of the response. It's like 21 minutes long. You can find you it gotta anywhere. Defend yourself for 21 minutes while you're talking inappropriate to a minor. You got some problems. The the the, the consensus of what he talks about is just like uh, one of his team members is the one who actually leaked the messages or or actually talked to the uh, the Twitch higher ups or HR or whatever and told them about this happening. And he's mad about that. And he's mad about the people who in Twitch who leaked information to the media. And it's just a lot of him being like, they were out to get me. He's a victim. He goes to the point where he makes this whole point about how Twitch was ready to get rid of him because of the mixer failure and the influx of streamers coming back or coming back to Twitch from mixer and the big contracts are be being handed out. He was one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. Like this guy was, he's Michael Jordan, LeBron James status of obviously texting minors. Right. And right. obviously, obviously of Twitch he is like the, the stream that he did had 825,000 views and the shit happened like last week. He's right. not, he is no joke when it comes to being polarizing or whatever. Yeah, he was, yeah. Very popular. And of course, everybody wants to hear what he has to say right now because, but that one clip right there, that one clip that that's the one that when I listened to it, that stood out to me as you are dancing. Is the legal journey over? Is that why he? Decided? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it finally like closed. Now yeah. he's now he's like okay. So he goes into the point of like naming all the the uh, the jurors, all the uh, the company or not the companies, the uh, the people that uh, have. Jesus. Well, Christ. as you were going through it, he was like, he was saying that like Twitch decided not to do anything, and his manager went around Twitch to people he knew at Twitch higher up to like get an investigation started. Yeah. You know, he, things he goes like into that. the departments that handle like these child uh, issues, and he says it's like they've all looked over the case and they found nothing wrong. Then but why'd you admit you did inappropriate texts? He admitted it. It's been reported. It got under review. He's dancing. He's 42 years old. He's married. He has children. It's it's not necessarily about whether or not this guy is a pedo. Okay? It's really not that. It, it's it not shows, about what the messages said anymore. It's, bro, yeah. It shows intent. It, right. You had intentions on meeting up possibly with a 16-year-old. And that's what I'm taking from it. Or 17. Whatever. Know? But still... You're 42, brother. You got to I mean, chill. Here, here's the thing. Even if the person was 18, yeah, I mean, like. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's chill out. Let's chill. <laughs> wow. Let's chill. You ain't going to make me weird for it. <laughs> Look. All right? You chill. All right? I will say this is that uh, here, I believe in the iceberg effect. So if the gentleman is showing, if this is what we found out, we can only imagine what's under the surface. He's had access to his fan base for years. They adore this man. They they put him up on a pedestal. They give him millions of dollars a year. I'm just worried about if he showed this little bit of a slip in his in his step. Where is where is he stumbled in the in the past? Oh well, yeah, man. I mean, you all. I mean, that's kind of always been a thing. It's like if you find out something, it's not the first time. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Like, the chances of him doing that one time, that's the only time he's ever done it, and him getting caught, very yeah. slim to none. And that's the crazy thing, is that he's already uh, gone through the trouble of having his him cheating on his wife went public uh, a few years back, 
Oh, that was a long time. Maybe like five or but six yeah, years Yeah, but back. still, man. If you So he's already a cheater. It's a so pattern of. It's like if you're already known for cheating on your wife and the next thing we know, you're talking to a 16-year-old in the Twitch whispers and that's allegations, allegedly, allegedly. No, I mean, that was true. He proved he did talk to her. We don't know how old she was. Oh, we don't. Oh, Because we don't know about the age of consent in the jurisdiction. She's under. She's under. uh, (laughs) Yeah. Did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. It didn't re- Twitch makes yeah. this decision to terminate so, my contract I don't and know, ban but anyways, while admitted they did not have perform any wanted, legal analysis. Follow up on this dude. He's just back and defending himself like he did nothing wrong. He didn't. It's weird, dude. You know, he could have came out and said, hey, this story's over. I am sorry for all the things that it caused me and my family and my fans, you but let's to, get back to it. You got you, you to gotta try to prove your innocence because you can't, you can't come back from doing kid stuff. No. Like once you become a kid stuff guy, there's no coming back from that. Yeah. And though he never he he claims that he never met up with the girl, they they never exchanged any pictures or anything. There was some intent there. There was something going on. And yeah, the only thing can't... that protected his ass in court was the age yeah, of consent. It's... If the only thing that's keeping you from going to prison is the age of consent, your ass needs to be in jail. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're right, man. If you're doing like abusing women or kids stuff, you don't really ever come back from that. It's just, you're just an abuser or a pedo or whatever, man. So it's, uh, anyways, go to the crazy town.com subscribe for Jonas. I'm good. TNT. (laughs) We out.